Good evening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Going to paint a little dog for you tonight. This is a little six by six inch uh, stretch canvas. Cutest dog. Oh my gosh. Let me get it closer so you can see. Uh, it's a little hard. The angle's tough. That's a little better. I'll tell you whose dog it is. It's a celebrity's dog and uh, just doing it because for something to do for one thing and I I I will probably try to show it to her and see if she's interested in it um, may give it to her even I don't know this is uh, this little puppy belongs to Rosie O'Donnell she's kind of become a celebrity on TikTok as of late she showed up on there and uh, a lot of people are desperate to be her friend and uh, and that isn't why I'm doing it like I said she showed some uh, a few videos and the dog was in it and I just thought isn't that the cutest little I love its little eyebrows <laughs> so uh, I, I took a few screenshots and I thought well if I get caught up with other things we might give it a go so we're gonna paint this little guy and see how it goes I'm gonna paint it the way I normally do which is kind of a I always say it's like a puzzle um, block in the darkest darks and work our way forward so uh, that's what we'll do. These are, um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And uh, I use oils, but they're water mixable oils. Not the best position for the canvas. I usually have it up taped to the board, but with it being a stretch canvas, they, they doesn't always work. They fall down. So we're going to try this. Hopefully you'll be able to see okay. So if you've not watched me paint before, um, this is the way I go at it. I, I put in the darkest darks that I see and uh, just keep blocking in little shapes and colors and values till we get it where we want it. Um, doesn't look like much for quite a while. gave away a painting here recently it was for the 500 subscribers and now we're at about 750 so I'll probably give another way one away when we hit a thousand that's what I'm thinking got a lot of new people over from TikTok. Uh, I just had the best time over there people have been so sweet And I just sketch this in with a pencil. That's what I do. I've got a few other pictures of him too if I need to go to those to, uh, to get details that I can't see in this one. Just shipped off a pet commission today and I'm closing in on finishing another one waiting to hear back from the client so it wasn't the usual Christmas that I have you know with the, the virus um, I didn't have any shows this year and that's usually where I get most of my commissions so What's ideal is if you can get your image exactly the size of the image that you're painting. That helps a lot. That doesn't happen often. You know, because actually he's uh, more like that probably, much smaller. And I, t I, I work in a limited palette, uh, the three primaries and white and then I have uh, Indian yellow and transparent red oxide on here and sometimes for pet ports I, I will throw a little black on here but right now this is just a mixture of ultramarine and transparent red oxide which looks pretty black doesn't it so you can see some of the blue there as I push it around 
these are both transparent colors so if you push on them you know they really see they become more and more transparent I like to start that way okay so we'll just keep pushing forward see it looks like crap right now which it will for a while if you don't paint and you don't understand the process I mean and not everybody works like me a lot of people um, I don't know keep a painting probably a lot more finished all the way through I just don't even worry about it so let's go for some of the I'm pushing forward here some of these more gray tones and I usually make grays that just out of the three primaries so I mixed a green I put in some red in it we'll see what that looks like It's a more of a cool gray, so I'm going to introduce more blue into it. You, know, you just play around with color till you get where you want. wish actually he, we could reduce him in size it does make it easier happy new year to everybody hopefully we got a, a better year ahead of us than the one behind us right said I've got a couple more shots of him too that one which you couldn't see his eye but it looks like the area <laughs> and that one was just kind of cute too again you couldn't see the eye real well but we can use these maybe to help us get detail and the coloring in the eyes it looks to be almost blue around the uh, the pupil And when I do backgrounds, unless they request something different, I just usually do a kind of modeled background. I don't paint what's back there. would be distracting in my opinion, you know, unless it's important to the, the client. Or, and, but I do sometimes use the colors that I see there, um, maybe. Not to say I will. But sometimes, like this one, it's kind of golden. And if I were painting that pose, I might use that color. But this is just kind of neutral behind this guy, so I probably will not. I'll probably go with some kind of gray color. Don't know at this point. This area here is kind of a, it's a warm, I'll use some transparent red and some white, maybe a little yellow. You know, and if we don't get it right first go around, we'll be adjusting it, of course. It's a little dark. I've been doing these color mixing videos on TikTok. If you're from TikTok, you know that. And you only have, well, you have 15 seconds or a minute, so I've been doing a minute. And there are some other people that do them, but they, I, I don't think they do them in a minute. It looks like they edit them and, uh, you know, they bring them down to a minute, but they're not actually in reality mixing them in a minute. Me, I'm not so savvy. I'm not editing. I'm doing them in a minute. So it's a little stressful. And I usually get it, you know, 
Um, though it would be better probably to have a little more than a minute, but I usually get them. You can see that I'm, you know, right right there close usually by the time the video goes off. So. a fun challenge. And with a limited palette, that's what I keep explaining to people. I mean, you're, I think it makes it easier because your choices are limited. You know, you're going yellow, red, or blue. Not that it can't make a difference if you go warm or warm or cool on those colors. It does make a difference. And we're just blocking in. Like I said, at this point, he's just kind of a mess. Leave me a comment if you're an artist. Let me know, um, you know, where you're from, what medium you work in. a cutie, isn't he? It's just like a toy. And again, this is just the block end, so I mean, if we're lucky, we'll, if things go right, we'll get him done tonight, but if we don't, we don't. If you've not been on TikTok, like I say it's a lot of fun and um, if you're a creator, person that posts videos, um, you use uh, people's sounds. You can use, people can use my sounds if they want, though they probably wouldn't. Um, but say someone sings on there, they usually give you permission to use their sound. So I have done videos where I look like I'm singing and I'm not singing. You don't want to hear me sing. So, uh, but it's funny. It always seems like it confuses some people, and some people think it's they think it's really your voice. Um, I sang into um, <laughs> my kitchen ladle. I did a duet with a guy, and there were people that thought I was singing. You know, if I could sing like that, I said I'd be singing on there all the time. But you think, you know, you kind of assume everybody knows this, but uh, I, I imagine there's always people new coming in, I don't know. I did a video last night of this older woman just talking about, she's an Italian, and you can tell she's older and talking about how I'm on Facebook and TikTok and Instagram and um, I don't know where else, but I. I can't, that's all I can do. I can't do no more. And, and the guy said to me something like, well, you can pick and choose what you want to be on. You know, not my voice. <laughs> but you think they know that, but they don't, yeah. And I just threw the eyes, and they may not be in the right place at all. And they have to be. So if it means taking them out and putting them back, that's what we'll do. That's the most important part of it. There's a lot of wonderful pet portrait people out there. If you go on like um, Etsy or Pinterest, oh my goodness, so many people that are wonderful at it. And everybody's style is different. And uh, some people are so loose. Um, sometimes the only part that's kind of tight is, is the eyes, you know, they keep it very, very loose. Yeah, that's why you have to pick an artist whose style 
you like. Maybe you like, maybe that's what you want, you know, when you, if you have your pet painted, maybe you want it very, very loose like that. Maybe you want it more realistic. Same with a house portrait or anything, you know. You gotta look at, don't just commission somebody without looking at their work. Though I've seen people do that, you know. You need to know what their style's like and uh, Yeah, I've seen people do that. Some people just assume because you paint, you know, you paint everything and uh, and maybe you do. A lot of artists, um, they specialize in things and uh, there aren't that many artists that are good at every single thing, though there are some. I like to try everything, but uh, people occasionally ask me about portraits, and I generally, though I've done a few, and uh, it's usually like pets and children together, I usually will turn them down. Um, you know, you want to make sure, again, that you like their style, and... Uh, But you can't just take on something for the money. You know, you gotta make sure you're qualified and, and you're comfortable with it. You gotta be you gotta be willing to say no. I realize this doesn't look like much at this point. I always say, don't judge it too soon. Sorry, he's moving around some. sure what I'm seeing over there. I uh, could be some fur sticking out. I'm not sure. I was just on uh, TikTok before I came in here and um, you can go live on there which I've only done a couple times um, but some people are on there a lot and uh, a friend of mine she does frequent lives and really nice person and there was a guy on there from Istanbul I think and uh, he kept chatting but of course no one could really understand what he was saying and uh, but he kept talking. <laughs> I finally went to Google Translator and translated. Um, he was. He said something to her like how lovely she was and I don't know. So funny. I mean you just wonder why he'd be there when no one could understand him but never know about people do you? what they're getting out of it. And we're just blocking this in. I'm not going to do the back yet. A lot of times I will go ahead and get paint everywhere, but um, and I do do that with a lot of subjects, but we're going to go ahead and develop the dog.
using the same brush. I need to order some new brushes. These are Rosemary and Company, and they're all a little bit worn and dirty, so I need to break down and order some. These are the um, Evergreen series. Let's see if I can get it in there. I'm not familiar. Not a different setup tonight. I'm usually my tripod is broke, and my husband's gluing it, so. This is clipped into my, uh, I have a ring light that my daughter got me for Christmas, so we're clipped into that. So hopefully you don't jump off of there. Don't jump off of there, I'm telling you. That would be bad. Area above his eyes lighter than I've got it. Let's work on his eyes now. Let's see where this nose is in relation. See, it feels like it's over too far to me. All right, we're going to go to a smaller brush and we're going to play around with the eyes here. I noticed tonight it's already um, staying light a little later, so it was like 5.30 and now it's closer to 6, so kind of feels good, even though winter's got a long way to go. Just nice to see it going the other way. Really changes quick, doesn't it? It's like in the summer we have the long days and then very quickly they start getting shorter. Yeah, this color around his pupil looks very blue. I know I ran that down too low, it's okay. I'm just trying to make the eye bigger. Mm. 
no worries, we don't stress. Everything can be fixed and brought back. nice thing about having the image on your iPad, even though this isn't a great image, is you know you can really zoom in on the eyes. Um, when someone gives me a photograph, which doesn't happen too often, almost everybody emails you images now, but if someone happens to give me a photograph, say it's a, you know, the pet's dead or whatever, I still um, photograph it and put it on my iPad so I have the option to zoom in on it. I can tell you right now, this nose still doesn't feel right. Got a lot of adjustments to do yet. In this image, it almost looks like it's got a little kind of heart-shaped nose. Kind of wiping off some of the extra. When we get the background in, then we'll have to come and pull little hairs out and stuff. Yeah, once I get this where I want it and I post it, then I'll tag Rosie on it and I don't know if she'll see it. I don't know how it works. I think if you check your notifications, it tells you if someone tags you, but it doesn't mean people look at this stuff, you know? Looks like he's very whiskery. Yeah, there you can see some of those whiskers, see? That's why it's nice to have multiple images, you know? And that's a detail we would do toward the end.
we're going to blend that out. We'll just come and put that in for now. Okay, let's do some measurements. If you hold, your, if you do some measurements, hold your arm straight out, and you can use your paintbrush. We're going to compare. Okay, from the corner of one eye to the other, hold your arm straight out, as about like that, and then we'll go down to the bottom of the chin. Just kind of trying to come up with a. Okay, so if I move to the dog, I have painted. Geez, that seems about right. Though things still feel out of whack to me. But that that seems to be about right. Didn't feel right just looking at it. Sometimes the littlest things can throw you off, though. Now I'm going to look and see where the edge of that nose is. Okay. I wonder what kind of dog this is, whether it's a full breed or, okay, put it in the comment section if you know. I suspect it isn't, but I don't know. Maybe he's cute, whatever he is. wiping some of this off. Really makes a difference to get the catch lights in the eyes, doesn't it? Really wakes him up.
Let's see if we see any color. Oops. They just look very black, don't they? Sometimes I'll put a little warm color in the eye there. We might do that. I don't know if you can see that, but I just warmed it up a little bit. I think it adds a little more life to it. too warm, but sometimes with black and white dogs, I uh, I'll add color that I don't necessarily see because you have to, you know, to explain the anatomy, you'll have to put blues and warm, warm tones in them. Cute, isn't he? Yeah, eyebrows. <laughs> oh. Just keep adjusting him until eventually, hopefully, we'll get him. I'm checking his nose again. It still doesn't feel right to me. just jump all around that's kind of I try to kind of work the whole painting at the same time and we'll get more of this wispy stuff in here when we get the background in. You have to paint what you see, but the nose is usually lighter on the top where it's catching more light. And usually um, below the nose holes too. And usually the nose holes are darker, not surprisingly, right? So 
just depends on you know how much detail you want in the painting Pretty dark over here. You can see I put a warmer color there around the nose because I could kind of see it there. I'm mixing up a little bit of a purple color because I feel like I, I see that here. I make it always come back and, and uh, lighten it. Nice thing about oils is as you work into a wet painting like I am, you can blend into the color that's here. It's one nice thing about oils that you don't necessarily have with acrylic. They stay wet so long, you know. Good and bad, right? Good and bad with all of them. I like that though. Trying to look at the detail I see over here. See some dark right here. Some lighter color here under the eye. Again, it's kind of like puzzle pieces, you know. Like, I see a little light piece there. And you just do your best to explain it, and then when you get to where you feel like you've done all you can do, that's Take it to the client and see what they think. I'm always nervous to hear back. I haven't had any that absolutely that I, and I wouldn't make someone take one if I, if they weren't pleased, I would not do that. I would refund their money. The only way I would even keep a deposit is if, you know, I got going on it and they changed their mind on me for some, not good reason, I don't know. I've not had that happen, but I luckily have never had one that I I couldn't please. And there really been very few of them make me make many changes, which has been nice. But again, I'm always nervous, you know. One lady several years ago said, I'll get back to you soon, and I thought, oh, oh you know. <laughs> and. Uh, it was just a couple of very subtle things with color and stuff. The dog actually looked kind of green in the photo to me. Um, but it was, yeah, it wasn't much, so. It was one where I painted the dog and the granddaughter together. And I actually think the dog was the more important part of the painting to her. more color and some darker values. See here the nose feels perfectly round, but in this one it almost feels like said almost like a little 
like there's an indentation there, but I don't think there is. I don't see it there, so it's just l a lighting thing, I think. I think we'll go ahead and get the background painted in. Again, I'm not happy with this background color, even though sometimes that works for me. I think I'm just going to mix up, because um, there's some nice warm tones in this dog, I think we're going to go with a maybe a grayed, cool background. So we'll start with some blue and white. You know, a muddy kind of color, but on the cool side, I'm thinking. So, and, you know, and maybe we'll vary it. I'm going to want the dog to, the white body to stand out down here, so, you know, maybe we'll want to go a little darker even. Palette knife is nice to at least get paint on the canvas, even if you don't uh, paint with one. It can save you time just to transfer paint. How are we doing on time? Oh, not bad, 47 minutes. And we're still using this same brush. And when I, this is a stretch canvas, and um, I paint the edges. That way it gives them the option to frame it or not. Or uh, now I'm going to paint kind of into the dog as I go around the edge, and then we'll come back and explain the edge just better and pull some hair out and that kind of thing. Again, I'm having a little trouble determining what I'm seeing right there. So we're going to just paint into his little nose like that. It can be difficult sometimes to get a good reference from a client, you know. They don't realize what you need to see to paint it. and. Uh, They'll sometimes like their limbs will run off of the canvas, their feet and stuff. And uh, I'm I'm not good at making up stuff. I need I need the information for me. If I'm going to paint it, I'm just I need to see it. And I paint what I see, for the most part. I've had cases where I keep having to ask for better references, you know. They don't, like again, they don't always understand, you know, what you need. Okay, let's look at this as we go here. I'm going to, have to bring that ear way up, it's a lot fluffier. Yeah, it's way up here. And this is, again, not a commission, so, you know, if I was, it might not be the photo they'd want, and we're just doing it, because I want to do it. And things don't feel quite right to me yet about this guy. All right.
I like the other brush. So give me a second, I'm going to wash it out. All right, let's mix up some dark again. All right, now let's look at this. Some dark up here. Got a wispy hair way up here. comes way down here. Thing and cute, fuzzy. Still something about his face that feels warped to me. I've got to figure this out. Check some more. Uh, check this space, this little white space, and how's that compare? It's about like that. Funny how you have your favorite, favorite brushes.
figure out. He's still bugging me. It's still not right. I'm trying to bring that eye up more. So I brought this up more. So because he feels like he's, it feels better. Trying to tell what I've done. Something's just not quite right. How are we doing? It's been an hour now. Some of them, you know, just fall together, and some of them fight you. This guy's kind of a fighter, and I'm still tweaking him. There's still things I, I think. You know, just the littlest thing can do it, you know, just make him feel wrong. If you're lucky, you locate it and make the change, you know. But just the tiniest thing with an eye or... I say if you're lucky, then you find it. I don't know if you can tell, but I brought that eye up. bored you too much. You can always watch this in pieces.
you know, you could let it dry and come back and put all kinds of wispy hairs in. It just depends on, you know, how, how you want him to read. I want him impressionistic, so I probably won't be doing that. I'm also going to blend up some of these hairs I'm laying in. I'm going to bring a brush in here. And, okay, let's think about, um, you know, he's got lots and lots and lots of little whiskers. I'm about to call him. I mean, you know, we may, I may come back and work on him, but I'm about to call quits for tonight. You know, and you could take a palette knife and uh, do some of this if you want to get finer hairs. With acrylic, you can do this better than I can. Okay, let's blend in some of this. painted, I don't know if I've done it with a dog, but cats on hard hard panels and when I do them wet into wet, I don't think that's, let's try it. Sometimes I'll cut back in through the panel and create whiskers. You don't have to do them all that way, but you can do some. Well, I'm going to quit because it's just going on too long. I can't say I'm completely done. I've got to. I've got to look at it. There's still something with the eyes. Was this? John Singer Sargent said a portrait something where a painting where something's wrong with the mouth. I think that's what he said. With this one it's gotta be right, you know, the eyes are just so important. I keep shifting his gaze up, I don't know if you've noticed that. Because it needs to be. So we're going to quit. I'll get up and show you what I've got. Um, that's some shadowing under the chin there. Can't say I feel like I've completely got him. I'm going to have to look at it. One last thing here, because I, I can see I'm going to take that highlight out. See, they're pretty much 
lined up as you would expect. Well, I guess that's pretty much where I had it. It just felt a little low. I pulled this up and this up, but now I may have that too high. So, all right, I'm going to shut up and uh, back up and show you what I've got. And I appreciate you joining me. Um, it's an uh, hour and eight minutes. I guess that's not too long. And I haven't gotten away from it the whole time. As I stand up, I can see some, whoops little changes I need to make. I need to bring that ear out on the left. This needs to come out. Not sure what you can see. This is backwards for my typical setup, but this ear needs to come out. So, all right, thank you so much for joining me and uh, watch for me next time. Uh, like and subscribe, please, if you haven't. Like I said, when we get up to a 1,000, we'll do another giveaway. So please subscribe if you haven't. Leave me a comment. All right. Thank you so much.